I had no idea that this man was a bagman for the mafia and the drug dealers uh, in Chicago, Illinois, which doesn't seem like a great qualification to be uh, the leader of Nigeria. Yes, yeah, welcome back to my page once again. In case you're meeting me for the very first time, my name is DJ KN. <sighs> it's quite unfortunate that um, Africa is the problem of Africa. I just woke up uh, today and I saw the news flying up and down about ECOWAS. So finally, ECOWAS have activated their defense to use uh, ECOWAS defense to go and fight Niger, Africa against Africa. Which they said before, the problem of Africa is an African man. Why are we all doing this? It might seem like play, 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 play now at the end of the day to end up becoming brutal. When I saw the summit, when I saw the committee, when I saw the video, even Kanu, uh, S. Amy of Kanu, Kwankos II, or Kwankos, or Amy of Kanu State, Sariki, even went to talk with the coup of Niger. But what they discussed today is best known for them. But what that caught my attention was the summit that the ECOWAS people had to use their military to defend. What I'm saying is, Nigeria have a lot of problems to tackle. Nigeria have a lot of things to work on. Why is it that our president, Tinubu, leave what was supposed to be tackling about Nigeria to go and face an underman problem? You leave your problem in your own country and you are fucking, and you are fighting against another man's piece of mind, another man's problem. Where well, you have a lot of things to do in your own country. Did your country elect you to become a president of another country? No. I don't know. I don't know. Seriously, this video, when I watched it, I nearly, I nearly shed tears, but I just said, God should take control because the wave of this, the wave that this is coming, is for their own best interest, so it's not for the interest of the masses. Like, look at the video in the summit. I'm playing the video right away in the background, which I'm going to play some other two videos or some other some videos on this same particular video I'm making for you to see with your eye. Anybody that knows anybody, share this video to everybody. You know, maybe it might cut across to them for them to see that people are crying and that it's not going to work. It's not going to work. They are pushing. I don't know if that is. is I don't know if Trubu is trying to destroy Nigeria before he steps down from that seat, or he signed a deal that he must put Nigeria to to the mud, as in to to become to become worthless in the world. Imagine us giant of Africa behaving like a lizard of Africa. How, how will I even put it? It's no longer funny. It's not funny. Just look at you leave the issue or situation about four in your country. The, the poor masses, their people cannot even boast of three square meals a day. And you are busy fighting for another man's country that they don't even need your help. People you are even fighting for, they are even happy about the new military regime they are, they are embracing. No, this is beginning to I begin to wonder that this thing is going, that is going on, they have their own personal interest on this. But no matter what, there's something they call Kama. Kama is real. I know that one day, one day shall be one day. Every man will give account of everything he is doing, he or she is doing in this life. Maybe it might be okay for you today, but tomorrow, remember, your generation will wipe wiped away. The forthcoming generation, what will be their what will be their aim? What will be their game? What will be their 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 game? We then say that your own generation, use your own generation to put them into pain, or use your own generation to put them into happiness. Let me not talk much on this. Or the rest of the video, you're going to watch it and see it by yourself. Because it's, it's not, it's not, it's unfair. It's unfair. Just imagine putting other people's life in danger. Maybe you have you, for your mind now you have military, you have people that will guide you when it happens. Forgetting that what goes up will surely come down. It happened in the Bible when Pharaoh thinks that everything don't complete for him. Now God is in hand, just not like it turned to cow, moo, enter bush, go to shop grass. We are in army day, we are in police day, we are in effort, we are in all the whole force day to guide them. They are nowhere to be found. They walk out enter bush for seven good years, they shop grass like, like cow. As they finish in high clear. 
So nobody is above God. Maybe God just leave me just do your things. But I believe one day Africa must be great again. One day Nigeria will be great again. So let me leave you guys with this one. Just watch the rest of the video and drop your comments down below. What do you think? Okay, so thank you so much for joining me. I still remember my humble self, the JKN. In case you are not following me yet, please follow me for more updates. And please always share my content to, to encourage me to bring more news to you. Like I said earlier, that I'll be bringing you news that you don't know that's happening around you. Those that are not able to watch news, but at least when you come across my page, you can be able to see it. I will now bring fake news for you here. So thank you so much for joining me. Bye. See you in my next video. I'm not just happy. See you in my next videos. Bye. Plenary summit of the ECOWAS Authority of Heads of State and Government on the political situation in Niger, 10th August 2023. Final communique. The Authority of Heads of State and Government of the Economic Community of West African States convened in an extraordinary session in Abuja, Nigeria on 10th August 2023 under the chairmanship of His Excellency Bola Ahmed Tinubu, President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and Chair of the ECOWAS Authority. The extraordinary summit was convened as a sequel to the recent one held on 30 July 2023, following the illegal detention of President Mohamed Bazoum by the members of the Presidential Guard in the Republic of Niger on 26 July 2023. Present at the summit were the following heads of state and duly mandated representatives. His Excellency Patrice Talon, President of the Republic of Benin, His Excellency Alassane Ouattara, President of the Republic of Côte d'Ivoire, His Excellency Nana Ado Dankwa Akufo Ado, President of the Republic of Ghana, His Excellency Umaru Sisoko Mbalo, President of the Republic of Guinea-Bissau, His Excellency Bola Ahmed Tinubu, President of the Republic of Nigeria, His Excellency Maki Sal, President of the Republic of Senegal, His Excellency Julius Madabio, President of the Republic of Sierra Leone, His Excellency For Nyasimbe, President of the Togolese Republic, His Excellency Mamadou Tangara, Minister of Foreign Affairs, representing His Excellency the President of the Gambia, His Excellency Ambassador D. Maxwell Sa Kemaya, Minister of Foreign Affairs, representing His Excellency the Head of State, the President of Liberia. His Excellency Bela Mino Silva, Ambassador of Cape Verde, representing His Excellency the President of Cabo Verde. The summit was also attended by Evarist Nyasmiya, President of the Republic of Burundi. His Excellency Mohamed Uld Razwani, President of the Islamic Republic of Mauritania. Omar Ali Uture, President of the Commission. His Excellency Leonardo Santos Simao, Special Representative of the United Nations Secretary General for West Africa and the Sahel and Head of UNOWAS. His Excellency Ambassador Bankole Adewe, Commissioner for Peace and Security representing the chairperson of the African Union Commission. The authority, having considered the memorandum presented by the President of the ECOWAS Commission on the current situation in the Republic of Niger, as well as ECOWAS engagement since the last extraordinary summit, and having considered the reports of the envoys of the chair to Niger and various other places, Carefully consider the report and recommendations of the ECOWAS Committee of Chiefs of Defense Staff. Extensively discussed the latest development in Niger since the last extraordinary summit held on 30 July 2023. Noted that all diplomats... I had no idea that this man was a bagman for the mafia and the drug dealers 
uh, in Chicago, Illinois, which doesn't seem like a great qualification to be uh, the leader of Nigeria. Uh, these people who are now talking about uh, democracy in Niger, many of them don't have a leg to stand on, do they? I had no idea that this man was a bag man. <laughs>